Hey, what is up YouTube? This is a quick rundown on the three mic recording setup that I've recently used on a few drum covers that you might have seen on the channel. It's a really stripped back, easy and natural sounding setup. And there's a couple of reasons why I've gone with it. Number one, and really importantly, I'm a hobbyist, amateur engineer and three mics, especially on mix down, <laughs> is more than enough to handle. Number two, I don't wanna be investing a whole heap of spare cash into a lot of expensive mics and a large interface with multiple inputs. Number three is a really important one. My recording setup is temporary, so every time I wanna record drums, I need to set up everything and then tear it all back down at the end of the day. So I, I wanna be recording within about 30 minutes of arriving at the studio and just basically throw the mics up and go. Number four, the small amount of mics ensures a really honest and natural sounding recording as opposed to the close mic sound, which we all love, but we're all very used to in the modern age. I don't use any samples or anything like that, so what you hear on my recordings will simply just be the kit and the room, and uh, I want it to sound like you're in the room with me, or how I hear the kit when I'm actually playing it in the room, without beefing it up with extra layered sounds. With this setup and not having close mics on every drum or cymbal, you're gonna to have to balance your plane to make it sound good. If you want the floor tom to be louder, you're just gonna to have to hit it louder. If the crash is too loud, you're gonna to have to back off on the crash hits. And that forces you to internally balance your plane before it gets recorded, which I believe is obviously very important. Uh, that's how you're gonna sound live and that's how you're gonna sound in person to other people. So you may as well work on that in the recording process and allow the recording process to actually help your playing. I have found recording to be one of the most beneficial things that you can do for your drumming and I strongly recommend it. The links to all the gear via Sweetwater are in the description of this video. Hit me in the comments if you have any further questions. Let's check out the setup. Okay, we're over on this kit here. It's a nice CNC kit. Uh, with an ANF snare, so admittedly quite expensive drums <laughs> there. But um, hey, let's, we're going to look at the actual tools of the trade of what I'm using for mics and recording. Let's start up at the overhead here. This is an Audio Technica AT2035. Now, this is an insanely well priced condenser mic that I use as an overhead. That is $149 US. I'll use USD on this video because that is what, uh, well, where most of my uh, viewers are based and it's the sort of the dollar that we're most used to. Okay, so if you've only got one mic, if you've got budget for one microphone and you want to start doing one mic recordings, I'd recommend this mic. Some of the advantages of this mic are that it has the 10 dB pad on it so if I wanted to do a podcast or something like that, I could flip, flip that on, so it's plus 10 dB, or I can flip it off if I'm playing drums and it's uh, minus 10 dB, so it handles different types of input really well. And if you're gonna record something like a whole drum kit, you need a mic that can basically capture the whole kit. And it, the mic I'm using for my snare and the kick, obviously those alone are not gonna do a very good job of capturing the whole kit. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that was, just to recap, that was the Audio-Technica AT2035, 149 US. Come down to the kick, and I've got a mic outside my kick. A lot of people use mics inside. There is a mic inside there, which is actually not my mic, and I'm not even, I don't even have that plugged in at the interface. So I'm just using this bad boy here. It's a Sennheiser E902, and how much are these running for? 199 on Sweetwater. That is a fantastic kick mic, and I must confess, I think I just stole, I didn't know what kick mic to get, to get, and I just uh, stole the one that they had on Drumeo. They were using the an E902, and I thought, hey, their recordings sound good, I'm gonna go off that. Sennheiser E902, if I just pop that down, oh, that's good, look at that, made for it. It's about a fist out from the actual resonant head, that's the distance I have it, and the other mic, the only other mic is the tried and true, trusty, you see it down there? Shaw SM57, which retails for a ridiculous $99 US on Sweetwater. I've got that a couple of fingers 
couple of finger height above the rim of the snare and out a little bit. Um, I've just found that's what works best. And kind of pointing directly across the snare head as opposed to down at it, um, I find that works really good. Headphones, I actually wasn't, wasn't thinking about headphones, but um, headphones are obviously very important. I am using the Sony MDR7506. Those also are $99, which is absolutely ridiculous. Get yourself five pairs of those. Now, to get all the mics into, you can see my voice lighting up the uh, third input there. So um, the other three inputs are drum mics and the third input is this vocal mic. And I am using a Scarlett Focusrite, hold on, let me get this right, 18i8. That's the uh, model, that's the four channel. That is 419 on Sweetwater. So yeah, as I say, you need a way to get all the mics into your computer and an interface is the best way to do that if you're using uh, acoustic drums. So this is a three mic setup. We've got kick, we've got overhead, we've got snare. And that's it, I've got a little GoPro here. And um, that's all she wrote. Very, very basic setup. And that comes to a grand total of 965. So that's all it is guys, and um, just to quickly recap, 965, 965 US dollars, and that is the short SM57 on the snare for 99, the Sony MDR7506 headphones, 99 also, the E902 Sennheiser uh, kick mic, which is fantastic, 199, that's the most expensive mic in the setup, and the Audio-Technica AT2035 condenser, which is a little gem, only 149. You're gonna freak, if you think that's expensive, you're gonna freak when you see the other condenser mics, because they can really get up there and they can get very expensive. For what I'm doing, I don't really know, I don't think I need that, and I don't have the ears to appreciate the difference that an extra, let's say, thousand dollars could do as an overhead. I'm sure it will sound amazing, but um, I, I just don't need it for what I'm doing. And uh, let's not forget the Scarlet, the Focusrite Scarlet interface, 18i8 if you want the four channel, and there's various other options if you want more inputs. Uh, I'll leave you with one little piece of advice. If you are starting out, I definitely recommend starting with less mics rather than more. You're just gonna mow mics, mow problems, right? <laughs> you just, you start getting into phase issues and all various things that are way out of my depth, so I just keep it very simple. And I must give a lot of credit to a couple of people who helped me out on my recording journey. Not that I'm an expert engineer by any stretch. I'm a hobbyist and I enjoy it. But I should really thank Grant Kirkpatrick, who's a Kiwi drummer who I connected with. And he gave me some incredibly valuable tips for recording. Um, Mike Dawson, who has always been incredibly gracious with giving out... Uh, uh, loads of advice and uh, Bart Vanderzee from the Drum History Podcast um, who also has helped me out a bunch and I would not sound anywhere half as good as I'm sounding at the moment if it wasn't for those guys so thank you so much um, guys hit me up in the comments if you've got any further questions about the setup um, this is I mean 965 US for an entire recording setup I didn't get into leads and you know the GoPro and the actual drums but the actual other stuff the the bare necessities that you need to start recording i think that's just a fantastic price and um, i don't think you'll be disappointed if you invested that money into your drumming that's probably one of the best ways to improve is to record yourself drumming uh, it can be a total game changer so yeah hit me in the comments if you've got any further questions i'd love to help you out and uh, all the best keep chopping wood ciao